Number 60, Alexa Krish. Krish. Number 60. <laughs> Once upon a time, in ancient China, there lived an ordinary caterpillar working very hard in a farm. Every day, he would wake up before dawn to tend to his ox and would work till way past twilight before returning home. Day after day, month after month, he toiled diligently while living his ordinary lifestyle. On the other side of the universe lived a young, beautiful lady. The weaver girl often glides across the sky on a piece of cloud with a few of her servants. She was the youngest daughter of the Jade Emperor, the King of Heaven. Bored by her mundane princess life, every now and then she would go out to look for some fun. One day, she happened to chance upon the cattle herder working in his field. Feeling bored, she decided to test the heart of this cattle herder. Thus, she decided to transform herself into a human lady lying helplessly on the floor, started crying for help just to see how the cattle herder would react. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. So shame on me now. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. attention, who immediately rushed her aid. Are you alright? asked the cattle herder. Oh no! replied the princess with pain. Uh, I'm afraid that I sprained my ankle! <laughs> the cattle herder then examined her feet and started to bind up her ankle. Touched by his help, she began to engage him in a conversation. As the conversation went on, she began to listen to the cattle herder's story more attentively. Smitten by his kindness, she fell head over heels in love with him. Smitten by her beauty, the cattle herder fell head over heels in love with her. Today was a fairy tale, I wore a dress. You wore a dark gray t-shirt. You told me I was pretty when I looked like a mess. Today was a fairy tale.
time flew by quickly. It was soon set down, and the princess had to return to heaven. Not one for long distance relationships, the princess started sneaking out of heaven without her father's knowledge just to see her.
my princess. I shall die for you, exclaimed the caterpillar. <laughs> no, I shall die for you, cried the wee girl. No, don't be silly, my dear. I shall die for you, <laughs> said the caterpillar. <laughs> no, I, I will die for you, my darling, said the wee girl, smiling. No, 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 I will die for you, said the caterpillar as he started to pull close to the wee girl. Thank <laughs> you. 